Hallo Leute, wie geht's zum zweiten Part? Und ja, ich, ich hoffe, euch äh, macht Spaß und so. Ich hoffe, ja, das erste Part ist noch nicht draußen, aber es kommt schon, es kommt schon. Deswegen machen wir den zweiten Part. Ja, wie wir gesagt haben, jeden Tag kommt Zeit. Ach, ja. Falls ihr euch fragt, warum GTA Clips gesagt hat, morgen bist du aus, dass ihr jetzt Breakfast und etwas verletzt. Ja. 13 Level wird jetzt nicht so mit Action für das erste Part. Äh, ja, Level. Aber keine Sorge, es wird trotzdem gleich Spaß sein. Sollte eins fortsetzen. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney yeah. like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. <laughs> I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Yeah, Chad. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could give that applause, he would shoot. Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably great as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Where were you? I know you prefer yeah, okay. the rooting billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed yeah. and shaking hands. <laughs> No one came here tonight to see me. <laughs> see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stick. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a hey, piece of doch da Terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... A new face for Gotham? Hm? For you? It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Weil ich esse doch. Ist so besser. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. Of course I know you too. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, 
Whoever you support is a reflection on you. We trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. A man of few words is often a man of action. Just like your father. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's lust yeah, right. faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder on the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden yeah. age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always <gasps> hope. Forgive me for being blunt. One man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. And I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. I'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... Well. I've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? <coughs> yeah. It looks like... <laughs> ah, well. Hopefully that's staying for me. Well, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest. Has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one. You're a boss, then. Carmine Falcone? Nine. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime? Yeah, Falcone has never racist. been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this. City. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Machen. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Das machen ein paar YouTuber manchmal. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. 
<laughs> Man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man. I suppose I've got you. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the yeah, parlour. Follow me, if you will. This is the gangster boss one. That's from City Council. Yay! Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Yeah, You'll be fine out there. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... What did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't hit a chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Uh. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The business, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make yeah, a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't the deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Ich wünsche euch, ihr hattet voll Spaß und tschüss.